A very happy and blessed Christmas to every one of you and may Christ be at the centre of everything you say and everything you do. May Christ be truly at the centre of it all. And I just want to share three thoughts. I pray there will be a gift to you this Christmas time. These three keys, if you like, these thoughts that have been resounding over and over in my spirit. I just want to release to you. Jesus, when he came into this world, it says in John 1 and it grieves me whenever I, I read this verse, it speaks of Jesus coming as the light into the world, the true light, the one who would, light, who would light up our darkness, but yet the world, it says, knew him not. The world didn't recognize him. May we not be like those when Jesus came the first time, but may we be those who will, number one, grow in knowing Jesus. We will recognize him at work in our lives and we will look for him at work in this world that we will not look to the negative media and to the things going on in our world but we are going to look to God's word and we're going to recognize Jesus at work and what's more as we recognize Jesus as we grow in knowing Jesus we are going to partner with Jesus as he longs for us to and we will be his mouthpiece we will be his hands and his feet to bring light to a very dark world so let us be those just as it said that they didn't recognize Jesus when he came. How tragic. He was the one, the Bible tells us, he made us. He created this world and yet the world knew him not. But oh no, not us. In this our day, let us rise up and let us grow in knowing Jesus this Christmas time and in the coming year. For they that know their God shall be strong and do great things. And second thought that's been resounding inside of me is let the Lord lead. In Isaiah 6 and verse 9, the famous verse that often comes out at Christmas time, but it is so power packed for governments, for leaders, for every man and woman, for every person who will lean into Jesus, who desires to win in life. And it says to us, a son is born a child is given and the government shall be upon his shoulders. Another translation actually says the government shall rest upon his shoulders. There is a place of rest for every government, for every leader, for every person, for every man, woman, boy and girl that is found only in humbling ourselves before our great and mighty king and his kingdom and allowing his governing Allow, allowing his rule, allowing his leadership to take control. And if only all of our governments and our leaders in the world would come to Jesus and would find rest in him. For the governments in this world are not the ones who are in ultimate control and in power. It may look as though in many cases around the world they're gaining controls and powers, but the Bible says of the increase of his government, Jesus' government rule and reign and of his kingdom, there shall be no end. The truth is, and the reality is, it's actually our king and his kingdom that is increasing in these days. So keep looking up, keep filled with joy because the joy of the Lord will be your strength and love him and trust him no matter what. And thirdly, I just sense that the Lord wants to say this Christmas time, just as the Christ child was born in that manger, just think how difficult, how uncomfortable how unsettling a time it would have been for Mary and Joseph trying to find a place to stay. Their expectation, I'm sure, must have been in God alone. They were carriers of Jesus, of the kingdom of God, of the king of heaven. And just as we today are carriers of Jesus, those who are carriers of Jesus in their hearts, may we not give in to discomfort or unsettlement, but may we trust him come what may. Keep looking up, keep looking to Jesus, keep trusting him. As I've said, with all of your heart, you will win. There is nothing that shall be impossible to those who believe. So the Lord, I sense, wants to, to say today to hearts, thirdly, 
he is bringing new hope. Just as a, a new baby always brings with it new hope, new expectation. Biblical hope means a confident expectation of good and of God. The world's hope is very different. It's very wishy-washy. Maybe something will happen. Maybe something won't. It's kind of pathetic. <laughs> but God's hope is a certainty. It's a confidence. And when we have that confident expectation in God, no matter how dark the world gets, no matter what's going on in the world, just like Jesus, who is the light of the world, came into this world and came into the darkness and the world did not know him and did not recognise him. May that not be said of us, but instead may we have a confident hope, that confident expectation of good and of God, no matter what we face in this world, our confidence and trust is in God's word and our God will always have the final say. So I believe that as we receive the gift God is giving us this Christmas time of renewed hope, that with that hope, that confident, confident expectation in him, we're also going to receive such joy, such peace, because that's where true joy is found in trusting Jesus. Then we're not concerned about what's going on outwardly and externally, because who is with us internally is greater than anything in this world. So keep your trust in Jesus. Keep looking up to him this Christmas time. Let your expectation be firmly in him and you are going to win. A very Merry Christmas, Happy Christmas to every one of you and know that God is with you. Keep Christ at the centre of it all. God bless you.